Hey folks, this is sort of a VR video, not necessarily. Uh, I'm really excited about an announcement I saw about on Twitter from VR Nima, and it says, my team just shipped instant on device, real time 2D to 3D video conversion. Yes, for any 2D video. And he goes on to stress, this is absolutely game-changing, and for those of you in the XR space, you'll find out more about why later this year. So, going back a bit, year, year and a half ago, um, during the pandemic, I purchased this phone right here. This is the Red Hydrogen One. You can notice that it's a bit scuffed up. That's because I purchased it damaged. I paid about 50 or $60, one of the two. I honestly don't remember. And I picked it up because it's got a very unique display. It has what they called a, I believe, 4-view or 4-DV display, uh, which is a fancy way of saying that it allows you to use the device and view 3D through light field imaging, almost like a hologram coming out of the screen. Now, I can't see 3D normally, um, but with this phone, I'm able to see that depth and that image presence. It's got cameras on the back to allow you to capture in 3D, which I also was intrigued by because, again, I can use this phone as a tool to create 3D photos and video and then play them back on the same device. Or I can convert them to stereoscopic 3D and play them back on devices like my Quest 2, as an example. So I picked up this phone. Um, Leia, the company that Nima works for, created almost all of the software. It's actually a lit by Leia display, uh, and all of the technology is there. They've continued to advance that. They now have a device called the LumaPad that takes the 4-view or 4-D technology and gives you that 3-D light field technology on a tablet. Uh, that device right now is on sale for a ridiculously low price of $299. Uh, I do want to preface, I call it ridiculously low because of the technology that's involved. It's not the most high-end tablet on earth. I believe it's got an 845 Qualcomm processor, not the best cameras on earth. Like it, It's not a high-end, brand-new, top-of-the-line tablet, but it does have technology inside it that is not available elsewhere right now. Uh, some of it's available in this phone, but the phone has depreciated over time. What excited me, again, is the tweet that says 2D video conversion to 3D real-time. So what I'm going to show you is some free tools that Leia has available called Lightfield Studio, which is for video conversion. And then there's also a web-based photo conversion that takes your 2D photos and adds depth to them. It makes them more of a 3D view as well. Now, neither of these tools that I'm going to show you are perfect. And the Leia software is continuing to advance beyond the tools that I have available for free that I'm sharing for free that they've shared to me and to you if you'd like to attempt to play with these tools for free. So the first tool I'm going to show you is Lightfield Studio. So Lightfield Studio is a fairly simple application. Uh, you've got what it says here is 2D content conversion, stereo content conversion, and orbital content conversion. And the difference between these is if you're taking a side-by-side -side stereo piece of content and you want to convert that into the four view, four picture image that's making that kind of holographic or th jumping out 3D image on the LumaPad or the Hydrogen One, you can do that using the side by side image, a 2D piece of content or orbital content, which is when you're taking a camera and rotating around an object to get like a 3D scan of it essentially. So. The only real tools in Lightfield Studio, at least this version of Lightfield Studio that's available for free as a beta download, are the frames per second, 
and the depth multiplier. And the depth multiplier, if you leave it at one, it's really just a 2D image. So we're gonna crank that up to, let's say two. Two's probably too much um, for most videos. Um, I've tried anywhere up to 13 just to play with it. You can see that depth and that blur get weirder and weirder the further that you go. I think two's probably pretty natural. Um, and we're gonna use that just for this particular demo so that you can see how the technology works as we're doing it. So we're going to do our input video path. Uh, I've got just a single file here in a directory called 2D to 3D demo. So we're going to take that f video here. This is a five second clip of me at the Tales from the Galaxy's Edge demo uh, in downtown Disney in Anaheim. It happened earlier this year, late last year. So we're going to go ahead and hit start conversion and I'll show you how the magic works. So first we're gonna look at the view in Lightfield Studio Beta so you can see the different sections of what it's doing. So it says it's extracting frames right now. Now it's doing depth estimation. You can see kind of that depth mapping being extracted from the file. And now this is what the actual four view video would look like. And in this video, you can see me in the foreground and you can see a gentleman kind of walk into the frame in the last couple of seconds here. And he's actually behind me and you can tell that when you're looking at it on this phone device or on a LumaPad. And you can further extrapolate potentially making a stereoscopic image of this as well that you can view in any headset or on any device that supports stereoscopic images. Uh, right now, the version of Lightfield Studio that I have only exports into four view because it's meant to be used on a lit by Leia device. So we've finished this conversion. If we go into our directory now, we've just got 2D to 3D demo two by two. So if we play that back, the original video looks like this. Just one singular view. Here's what the two by two looks like. And what the device does, the phone or the tablet, is it takes those four views and it layers them on top of each other to give you the impression of that depth map. Now what I'm gonna show you is the, the temporary directories that it creates when it's taking that five second clip and putting it all together to make that two by two video. So we're gonna go ahead and start the conversion again, except this time we're gonna look here. Right here it's analyzing the frames. You can see each of those individual frames. Right here it's analyzing that depth. So it goes frames, then depth, and then it assembles that into the view afterward. So I could click on one of these images and you can actually see blown up that depth view being pulled out. It's super impressive to me how this works. And here's the individual frame of that same image that they're taking that depth from. So it's taking those multiple images, exporting each frame, then analyzing that frame, pulling out the depth, and then assembling it into a video. And that's essentially how Lightfield Studio is, is pulling all of that together. Again, you can see it's at the point where it's assembling views now, so all of those images would be done at this point. If you increase the depth multiplayer or decrease it, you can even see when it's assembling this view, like the distortion that it creates. I had it at eight at one point, and at one point, you can see on some of the images like a duplicate of me, like a ghost of me in the background. And you can see that the Quest 2 headset just kind of molding into my face because it's, it's really just too much depth for it to process.
So this is Lightfield Studio. I'll leave a link for this beta um, in the description of this video. Now we're going to move on to a tool that you don't need to install any software for, and you can play with and make a 2D image into a 3D image. All right, so this is the Layapix converter now, and this is just convert.layapix.com, so as you can see on the toolbar there. And you just click on Upload here. You can pick the image that you want to upload. It's going to automatically take that 2D image and apply some 3D effects to it. So this is me uh, with a mobile recording studio. I, I picked up a bunch of junk um, when I was in Southern California. And you can see that it's sensing some depth here. You can see that it's kind of moving me and the computer and all of the image in front of me a bit. Uh, so it's seeing those different layers. You can see, if we click on the depth map here, this is the foreground, this is the background, and you can see I've turned almost into a forest ghost here. Um, and you can actually fine tune this. So you can change the depth map to be a little bit further back, a little bit closer, you can change the size of it, and you can pick specific items to like pull out and things of that nature to make it more 3D. Um, I'm not going to go into those features, just know that you can actually like paint over this and correct the depth map. Um, it's pretty sophisticated stuff for what's essentially a free web tool. And then you can share those images out. So you can either make a GIF image where it's doing that rotation. You can actually change that rotation to um, the speed, how much it moves the direction it goes in, all of that you can change. Um, you can save as an MP4, you can change it to an LIF file, which is actually still gonna save as a JPEG image, but it's going to be that four view image that's viewable on the phone or the LumaPad. You can save it as a side-by-side -side stereoscopic, which is what we're gonna do right now. So you can see that in just a moment. Or you can save it as a depth map. And what the depth map is, is of course, that kind of force ghost image that I was showing you earlier. So you can take all of those now, and we've exported them. So you can see now, here's a side-by-side -side image. I could take this side-by-side -side image, and it is at least mildly stereoscopic view, so you can see a bit of 3D depth. You can see that computer popping out in front of me, popping out in front of the green screen <laughs> that I purchased in a terrible five below investment. And then you can take this image and you can view that on a Quest 2 or on an HMD of your choice or just going real close to it, what have you. So this technology is now available in real time to render that pipeline. So if you take a 2D video, it's gonna convert that to 3D in real time. I'm assuming it'll do the same thing with an image if you use the LumaPad and you use Leia Player 3.3. That's super exciting to me. I know it's not going to be perfect right now, but it's the beginning of being able to take your history, for example. Like if I take pictures of myself as a child, I might be able to make a 3D depth map of that. Or like maybe I have a picture of my bedroom as a kid and I can transfer that into a world that we can step into one day. That's the kind of technology that this is enabling. So I wanted to make a quick video about it. Pretty excited uh, to see. I, I ordered a, a LumaPad because I want to see what that real-time 2D to 3D conversion is like versus the tools that are freely available. If you'd like to experiment with those tools, I'm going to leave links in the descriptions. If you would like to purchase a LumaPad, I'll also put a link to that in the description as well. Again, it's on sale right now for $299. That's $200 off their current retail price. Um, this is alluding to, you'll find out more about why later this year. Maybe there's a new device coming later this year. Maybe it's more technology. So I don't want to say run out and buy a tablet. I bought one because I'm really excited about this technology and I want to see it firsthand for myself. Um, but that's late slash early adopter because this is a device that's been out for a bit of time at this point. Um, but 
I would definitely, if you're interested in this, just to see kind of how it works beyond my video, check out the free tools in the description. Thank you for watching. I do also want to add, I, I made a, a retweet of this, a quote tweet, and I put example steps through the whole thread. So I'm going to pull that up just for a second so you can see my walkthrough. So this is uh, my quote tweet where I said, Leia's tech is incredible. Their latest Leia player for the LumaPad allows for any 2D video to have depth added to it on device in real time. Um, and then I walk through the free tools that we just walked through in the video. Advise that they not only work with the lit by layer devices, but can be used with other devices that process 3D. And then I walk through for my friend Damien here, kind of that export process. So we've got Lightfield assembling the views here. Here's what the four view image of Oscar the Grouch. Uh, so that's a PSA for staying at home during COVID times. Uh, there's the depth map, and there's the frames as they were analyzed. And then using the Leiapix converter, I took this image of Carol Spinney as Oscar the Grouch from a Sirius XM interview he did. They did, I should say. Put that through the upload process, created that depth map, and exported it out. And that led to... a two by one stereo side by side image of that image. It's impressive technology. It is it perfect? No. Um, but it's taking what was never 3D and adding depth to it. And it's very cool to me. So I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you like this technology again, check out the links in the description. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye now.